Hey everybody, how y'all doing again? It is Claude along with Mr. Old Man, and today we will be headed down to Marietta to check out Righteous Cube. I've heard good things about it. We're gonna go down there and check it out for ourselves. As you can see, I got Mr. Old Man driving today. Um, so we'll see how this trip goes. Hopefully he can stay accident free. <laughs> he always brags about his impeccable driving record, so we're gonna see how it is. How long you been driving? Two days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How many years you been driving? Two. <laughs> you see what I got to put up, people, man? It's all time. But you let know. him tell it. I don't get no tickets. I've been driving forever, and I'm good at it. I was driving cars before they had engines. I was like, man, that's a horse and buggy. But I've been driving since I was 12. <laughs> so there you have it. So we'll be on our way today. Uh, a couple of years. As last week we was talking about Clint Eastwood, he came, recently came out with the mule. Uh, we were supposed to go check that out, but Mr. Old Man bailed on me. He said it's too much in the afternoon, so he would have to enjoy his nap. So I'll probably go check it out. It's four days before Christmas. I've got to get some stuff done. The, the house just got finished remodel, being remodeled, and I've got to clean it up and move furniture and get ready for Christmas. Nobody told you to be a procrastinator and wait till the last minute. So, well, people will be seeing you soon. So, the question was just posed to me, what did I get my wife for Christmas? And see, Mr. Old Man, unlike you, I'm a last minute procrastinator shopper, but I don't bail on my friends. So, I felt like I would still go to the movies with you, and then after the movies, then I would go do my shopping. However, I guess my commitment to the show is a little bit stronger than yours. It is. It is until my wife comes back. And, so, if things, and if things ain't ready at the house when she comes back for Christmas, then I've, I've had it. As you can see, we definitely know who runs that house and who wears the pants. He makes no bones about it, you know. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't However, have a problem with that at all. I, the what? I don't have a problem with that at all. Oh, okay. I was gonna say you know this is recorded because I will show her. <laughs> she does what she wants to. I do what I want to. It works out. People do not believe that he does. <laughs> she does what she wants to do, but he does not do what he wants to do. Mr. Old Man has very strict limitations of what he can and can't go. And whenever there's a show coming up for approval, I call his wife and get the approval before I even ask him because there ain't no point in getting my hopes up. Am I wrong? Yeah, you are. We'll do a show about that later. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole nother subject. That's a whole nother hour right there. So, what did you get the wife? I got her a uh, Charlie Brown uh, snow globe from the cartoon character Charlie Brown and Emmett Kelly, the old clown. Uh, I got her a figurine and a gift certificate at Barnes and Nobles and I got her a new cane. <laughs> so she can walk better. <laughs> yeah, y'all heard that here. And now she's gonna use that cane, and it'll probably be a weapon eventually. So, cause she wears his butt out, and she's gonna whip him in the shape with it. Oh, uh, here we are at Righteous Barbecue. She want to get my good sign. <laughs> I was just getting the sign. However, <laughs> if you want to be in the video, I'll be more than happy to put you in the video. How you doing oh, today, sir? Doing good. Good. You, kind of a hand. Did you eat at uh, Righteous Barbecue? Huh? Did you eat at the barbecue yeah, place? Wild birds. Ah. Uh, Is it good? I don't know. We're here to find out. Okay. All right. As, as you know, most of the time, anywhere we go, the one thing we're always checking for is to make sure that there's a pile of wood around somewhere because you cannot have good barbecue without a pile of wood because if you're not cooking with wood you're not getting good barbecue as you can see i don't know what kind of smokers they actually have but they're back there uh let's take a look at it. there's the smokestack there's a pile of wood uh can't actually see i guess we'll try to go around to the other side <laughs> It looks like they're using a reliable Southern pride. 
So it looks like we're gonna go in and check it out and see what they make happen with the match. So here we are. In case you're over on this side of town and you want to know the hours, they're open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., closed on Saturday. sample plate we have the ribs we have the pulled pork we have chicken and the macaroni and cheese old man or mr. mr. old man do you very good as you can see <laughs> never lets me buy with it mr. old man has the coleslaw baked beans and some ribs mm -hmm. so what are your initial thoughts sweet and sweet Coleslaw is delicious. Baked beans are perfect. And I'm just getting to the mac and cheese. It's got to be some of the most tender chicken I have ever had. There's a review on the chicken with Mr. Old Man. He's saying that the chicken is very tender. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm gonna dive into what I always dive into first, is the pulled pork, see how it is, and then I will go through the chicken, uh, the ribs. I like doing the sides, a little bit on the last, but we're gonna go into it and see how it works out. All right, let's try the pulled pork, give him it. It's tender, it's not overcooked. It doesn't mush to the, turn into mush when you push it up to the top of your mouth. Uh, good flavor. Uh, and pork is good. Ribs. Um, tender. They cool very easy for my own. All right, let's give the ribs a taste and see how they turn out. Nice bite from the bone, not overcooked, not falling off, but clean bite from the bone. Um, good seasoning, you can taste the smoke in it, not bad at all. What you got to say, Mr. Old Man? Same thing you said. All right, so here we are. We're wrapping up our visit at Righteous Barbecue, located in Marietta. Uh, today, my favorite piece of meat was the ribs. They were definitely um, had a great bite. They wasn't overcooked. And my favorite side was the macaroni and cheese. It was a tie between the baked beans and the uh, macaroni, but I think the uh, macaroni and cheese edged out today. What you like, Mr. Old Man? Well, for the first time in 12 years that I've known you, I agree. The ribs are the best. Everything else is just awesome also. And uh, I lean toward more the baked beans than the, than the mac and cheese, but they were both absolutely delicious. So if you're ever over in this direction, stop by and see them. Definitely had a chance to talk with the owner today. They've been in business about five years. Um, he says they just love doing it. Uh, one thing that I want to speak on is they had excellent customer service. So uh, meet it with smiles from the time we walked in and the staff regularly checked on us and you can't ask for more than that. So we wish them well and hope that they have a prosperous business and we will see you next weekend. Say bye, Mr. Old Man. Bye, Mr. Old Man. See, I wish I would have been recording just a second ago because <laughs> I just learned that Mr. Old Man's driving record isn't impeccable. It's just that 
The police are not around when he's driving. <laughs> That's all it is. He just ran through a red light that was red so long, it was redder than that truck. You see? <laughs> and he just ran through it while he was looking and arguing and moaning <laughs> about the person being parked on the side of the road. Just ran right through the light. What you got to say about that, Mr. Old Man? I'm scared. <laughs> it, it ain't funny. I have never criticized your driving. You ain't never seen me run a red light either. <laughs> yeah, I have. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I haven't. I stand corrected. But I have heard and have a witness to you sitting through a red light that turned green and then turned red because you didn't know what to do. <laughs> so you have a witness to testify that I've never ran a red light. Well, yeah. Thank you. Because that, that, that's all <laughs> yeah, well, What about the other one? <laughs> you can't run a green light. <laughs> Don't die on me. No. That ain't going to happen.